good morning dear students today i'll be teaching you some basics which you already done in 10th standard but without knowing today i'll demonstrate some important formula so first is what area of rectangle how area of rectangle is what length into breadth number 1 how area of rectangle is length into breadth okay answer is what i'll explain with demonstration for that you see this is length this is no doubt a pen but i'll consider this as what length on this length i will add one more length length remains same what is increased you will observe that breadth is increasing and what type of diagram you are observing it is rectangle i will add one more length i will add one more length length remains same what is increasing breadth is increasing along with this increase in breadth what else is increasing area and what type of diagram you are observing it is rectangle on this i will add one more length length remains same what is increasing breadth along with this increase in breadth what else is increasing area and what type of diagram you are observing it is rectangle on this again i will add one more length length remains same breadth is increasing along with this increase in breadth what else is increasing area now what is decreased breadth and area what is decreased breadth and area what is decreased breadth and area this means as breadth increases area increases breadth decreases area decreases therefore mathematically you know that when one is increasing other is also increasing and one is decreasing other is decreasing so it is directly proportional so area is what area of rectangle is what proportional to breadth and all the time you observe that proportionality constant is what length so when you will convert this proportionality sign to equality sign we have to multiply by proportionality constant which is nothing but length so this way area of rectangle is what length into breadth thank you very much now next demonstration is what next explanation is what uh, simple interest formula or let me explain simple interest formula later on so that i can explain simple interest and as well as compound interest together so let me explain curved surface area okay curved surface area see here this is a circle see this properly this is what a circle a ring on this circle i will add one more circle you can see circumference remains same what is increasing height height is increasing along with this increase in height what else is increasing this curved surface area i will add one more ring or circle you can say okay now circumference remains same what is increasing height is increasing along with this increase in height what else is increasing Sur uh, curved surface area i will add one more ring on it you can see that curved surface area is increasing see curved surface area is increasing along with this increase in curved surface area what else is increasing height what is constant all the time circumference is constant you can see curved surface area is increasing height is increasing as well as 
circumference remains same. Circumference is what fixed. You can see here, curved surface area increased. Sorry, uh, curved surface area is increasing along with increase in height and circumference remains same. Now, if I'll decrease it, curved surface area is decreasing and height is also decreasing. Curved surface area is decreasing, height is decreasing, curved surface area is decreasing, height decreases. This means curved surface area is proportional to height. So, second demonstration is what? Curved surface area increases when height increases. And curved surface area decreases decreases when height decreases. Therefore, Curved surface area is what? Curved surface area area Curved surface area is proportional to height therefore and you have seen that all the time proportionality constant was circumference therefore I'll say curved surface here C is proportional to height H therefore curved surface area Proportionality sign will convert to equality sign by multiplying by proportionality constant, which is our circumference. Circumference into height. Therefore, Curved surface area is what? Circumference of circle is what? 2 pi r into height h. So this way the formula of curved surface area comes of cylinder. This type of diagram you are observing cylinder. Now third is what? Volume of cylinder. Number three is what? volume of cylinder. This type of diagram you can see it is cylinder. It forms a cylinder like this. This is what cylinder type. Now we'll talk about volume of cylinder. So for that you have to see how much air it contains. This is what? Volume. This portion is what? Volume. That means it is related to what? Area. Area of this, which is nothing but here, circle. Now in this, on this circle or on this ring, 
I will add one more ring. You can see that height increases as well as volume also increases. Volume is increasing. You can see this properly. Height increases, volume increases. Height is increasing, volume is also increasing. You can see this. Height increases, volume increases. And what type of diagram you are observing? It is cylinder. Now same way, if I will decrease this, height decreased, volume also decreased. From here, it is coming down. Height decreases, volume decreases. Height decreases, volume decreases. This means volume is what? Proportional to height. And all the time, what is constant? Area. This portion, area of this portion is constant. So, volume of cylinder one minute. volume of cylinder 